Whether you're a buyer or a seller of FedEx ground routes, we highly recommend utilizing seller financing as part of your deal structure. In most transactions, we like to see at least 10% of the purchase price be seller financing. Seller financing can have advantages to both parties and it can increase the buying and selling power of a business. For a buyer, the nice part about seller financing is that if you're financing a transaction, most banks expect you to put down 20% of the purchase price. However, if you have seller financing, then the bank will view that 10% seller financing chunk as part of your down payment. If you have a $1 million transaction, instead of having to come up with $200,000 in cash, you'd only have to come up with $100,000 in cash because the other $100,000 is done through seller financing. This significantly increases your buying power and provides you with financial breathing room. As a new contractor, you're going to be growing a lot. Putting every last nickel into the purchase of a business is not a smart financial strategy. You won't have enough liquidity to grow the business and cover any necessary operational expenses. Using seller financing will allow you to maintain extra capital to invest into the business as you grow. For a current contractor interested in selling their business, seller financing can also be a very positive opportunity. Offering seller financing increases the buyer pool of investors that can purchase your business. Since seller financing reduces the amount of cash a buyer needs, it can also allow you to negotiate a higher overall price for your business at no additional cash injection from the buyer. Another benefit comes on the tax side of things. Since the seller financing spreads that investment over a number of years, the capital gains tax is not incurred all at once, which can have a lot of potential tax savings for you as a seller over the next few years. It's important that you structure your seller financing properly, requiring a personal guarantee from the buyer. You will also be subordinated to a bank, which means the bank, if there is one, is first in line to be compensated if the buyer defaults. However, seller financing offers financial upside to both buyers and sellers, and it allows both parties to feel like they have a vested interest in the success of the business.